Hi everyone, in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to make organic dome structure in a blender. It is really simple node setup, so everyone should be able to easily follow along. So let's jump into new blend file and start creating this organic dome. Okay, so into new blend file let's delete everything except for our default cube. So let's select it and press Ctrl I and delete it by pressing X and delete. Now let's jump into geometry nodes and I want to create a little bit uh, more space here because it's rather small window. So I can press the T key to hide toolbar, this button to hide gizmos and to now we have a little bit more space. So if selected cube press F2 to rename it and maybe let's name it organic dome. Now let's new, add new geometry nodes and rename it may be the same, organic dome. And let's start creating. So we need the basic geometry and I think the icosphere would work the best. So let's add mesh primitives icosphere. And we really need a lot of subdivisions. So the number will depend of the power of your computer, but let's start by eight subdivisions. To preview the timing of our geometry nodes, we can activate it here. And now we know that the computation time of this node is 285 milliseconds. And the whole thing is the same for now. So we need to delete the bottom part of the sphere. And to do this easily, we can use the delete geometry. Let's plug it in. And as you can see, now we have uh, nothing because we delete the whole thing. So we need to plug something in the selection and we want to delete the bottom part. So we can do this by taking the Z height attribute of our geometry and delete everything uh, below the half of the height of our geometry. So to do that easily, we can take the position field and to use the separate XYZ node. And now we know the Z height of our geometry. So everything that is less than some value will be deleted. As you can see the zero working pretty well here, but uh, if you want to delete exactly half, we can go a little bit beyond the zero And now I think it's perfectly a half. It doesn't really matter that much, but uh, I find this value works pretty well. Okay, it's important to have order in your geometry node to read it easily later or by someone else. So let's frame it and rename the frame base geometry. Okay. So now I would like to create our base organic pattern, which will be based on the Voronoi texture. So let's a Voronoi texture. We can find under texture and Voronoi. And to preview it on our mesh, we can use the Control Shift shortcut. And now this add a viewer node. And we also need some geometry to preview. So let's use it here. So this is uh, our Voronoi texture. I'm pretty happy with the scale of it. So I want to change it. Okay, but now we have a very smooth gradient between the center of a single cell and the out. And I actually want uh, only the wireframe. And to do this easily, we can change the type of the Voronoi to distance to edge. As you can see, now we have pretty strong wireframe. I personally like to use the 2D because it gets longer at the bottom, but also the 3D texture uh, has this uh, darker spots in different places. But you can use uh, which one you like. We can test uh, the both. Let's start by 2D. Okay, so we'll again use the delete geometry node. So I will drag and search for it. 
and we will want to delete everything that is greater from the threshold. Let's preview it. And the threshold uh, must be a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is the result of the 2D Voronoi texture. And when I change it to 3D, as you can see, we have some big uh, spots all over the place. And I don't like this uh, result, so I will stick to 2D version. You can change the scale to something bigger if you want. Or you can place even with the randomness. Okay, let's frame it and rename to create Voronoi pattern. And as you can see now the structure is a little bit jaggy. And to fix it, you can use the new node in Blender, the blur attribute. And to use it correctly, let's first use the set position node. So let's search for set position node. And the trick is to use the current position and blur it by using blue attribute node. Let's plug it to position. And as it, we increase the iterations, it gets thinner, but also smoother. So we can increase the threshold hill and get a lot smoother results. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the results. So let's add a thickness to it. But first, let's frame it and call it smooth. Okay, and to add a thickness, we will use the mesh operations extrude mesh. Let's plug it. As you can see, it's much too strong and also it extrudes individual faces. So let's uncheck the individual option and use a lot smaller value here. I think still a little too big. Okay, I think that is good for now. And now we have a problem that we doesn't have a face inside. And to fix it, we can use the simple join geometry node. And let's plug the geometry from before our extrusion. And this generates two issues. If I turn on the face orientation, as you can see, we have different orientations of normals inside. And we can fix it by using flip faces node. And the second problem that we have overlapping geometry over here because we added this to this. So naturally we have overlapping geometry here. And you can fix it by using geometry operations merge by distance. Okay. And as you can see the number of vertex before the merge by distance and after is smaller. So we merge a lot of vertices. Okay, I turn off the face orientation. And the last things I would like to do is to smooth the whole thing. And to do this, we can duplicate this whole frame. And let's plug it between. We can use a little less amount of iterations. And let's shade it smooth. So let's search for set shade smooth. And basically this is it. Maybe one more iteration. Okay, so this is our dome. You can play with a parameter a lot. For example, you can increase or decrease the scale change the thickness by changing the threshold amount or change the to 3D to create more 
dotted style. So we can play with uh, all of it. And maybe you don't want the smooth at the end, so you can delete this to create harder transition. So it's up to you what uh, DOM you would like to create. So thank you everyone for watching, I hope you learned something new and see you again in the next tutorial, bye!